Rev. Thomas Robert Malthus, 1766-1834, who believed that population would increase at a geometric rate and the food supply at an arithmetical rate. Malthus had two main contributions to economics, population theory and a theory of market gluts. At the time of his writing, other scholars, Marchetti and Dorset, 1743-1794, both of whom favored the working class. Condorcet had an important influence on the French Revolution and advocated that government establish a welfare fund for the elderly and disadvantaged women and children for the purpose of helping to eliminate economic and social inequities. He also was in favor of reducing the power and wealth of the capitalists by extending credit to ordinary people so that they could become independent. Partial to the working class as well, William Godwin argued that the defects of the working class could largely be attributed to corrupt and unjust social institutions. Godwin blamed economic inequity and suffering on existing laws of property and felt that the government would never redress these evils because of the assertion that government was controlled by the capitalist class. As long as this condition existed, reforms were impossible. His final proposal was to abolish government, private property, and then to educate people since only human reason could save society. Once Godwin made a very interesting statement, if every man could with perfect facility obtain the necessaries of life, temptation would lose its power. Quoted in Alexander Gray, The Socialist Tradition, p.119. In 1798, Muthus published a book entitled An Essay on the Principle of Population and a Summary View of the Principles of Population, 1798-1803. In this book and in a few additional writings Muthus expounded his well-known theory of population along with some other basic ideas and premises attempting to justify the Corn Laws and the case of landlords for an agriculture tariff. Muthus justified the Corn Laws based on three theories, the theory of population, diminishing returns to agriculture or theory of rents, and his, glut, theory Muthus claimed that population was growing much more rapidly than Earth's food supply increased arithmetically. The theory Muthus put forth his ideas in, in six editions of his famous treatise An Essay on the Principle of Population. His thinking took shape under the influence of the optimistic ideas of his father and his friends mainly Rousseau, about future improvement of the society. In the first edition of his treatise, Muthus put forth his views that opposed the belief of scholars like Marchetti and Dorset and William Godwin who were optimistic about population growth in England. During the Industrial Revolution, England experienced a steep increase in its population. In his book The Enquirer, William Godwin promoted population growth as a means for human beings to attain equality. According to him, an increased population would create more wealth that would provide food for the whole humanity. Scholars of such school of thought believed that both man and society could be made perfect. In contrast to this viewpoint, Muthus interpreted overpopulation as an evil that would reduce the amount of food available per person. Muthus' single quote theory was based on the assumption that the power of population is much greater than the power of the earth to provide subsistence for man. In his own words, passion between the sexes is an inevitable phenomenon hence, when unchecked, population would grow at such a high rate that it would outstrip food supply. According to Muthus, disease, food shortage and death due to starvation were nature's way to control population. He proposed that human beings adopt measures like infanticide, abortion, delay in marriage and strict following of celibacy to check population growth. According to him, human society could never be perfected. He believed that man is a lazy animal, who would lead a satisfied life and procreate as long as his family was well fed. However, as soon as human population would feel constraints in food supply due to increase in population, he would again work hard to provide enough for his family. This might lead to an increase in agricultural production to provide for all, but at the same time man would be back to his complacent stage, where all his needs would be fulfilled. This would start the cycle of overpopulation and food shortage, all over again. Having been a clergy, Muthus validated his theory on moral grounds that suffering was a way of making human beings realize the virtues of hard work and moral behavior. Such kind of suffering due to overpopulation and food supply was inevitable. 
impact with this theory had great influence on both Charles Darwin and Alfred Wallace, who are the co-founders of the modern evolutionary theory. In his own words Darwin acknowledged that he was already aware of the struggle for existence among different species of plants and animals. However, it was only after he read Malthus' work where he realized that animals and their struggle to survive retained the favorable features that would help them adjust to the environment and lost those that were of no use to them. Thus the theory of natural selection was born. By the end of the 19th century, when living standards improved and birth rates dropped in the Western countries, concerns of overpopulation became irrelevant. However, in underdeveloped countries which are agrarian economies, Muthus' theory often finds credibility. Criticisms and critics of Muthus, like Karl Marx, argued that Muthus failed to recognize the potential of human population to increase food supply. Muthus is accused by many to have failed to comprehend man's ability to use science and technology to increase food supply to meet the needs of an increasing population. Thinkers from the field of social sciences have criticized Muthus for his belief that the human society could never be made perfect. Muthus opposed all political, social and economic reforms that did not aim at controlling birth rate. His own methods of checking population growth was criticized as being impractical. Muthus was opposed to the poor laws popular in England, which provided relief to the people who qualified as poor under the laws. According to him, such charity would provide only short-term relief to them and let the poor remain in their state of financial distress. This thought of Muthus was viewed as misanthropic. The word misanthropic means a person who dislikes humankind. From his writings some have interpreted Muthus as a rigid and pessimistic individual. However, he is also viewed by some as a pragmatic thinker, who put a check on the unbridled enthusiasm of some who viewed increase in population as a means of progress. A person who is pragmatic is one who deals with things in a way that is based on practical rather than theoretical considerations, 